<clears throat> okay, so tip number four, reason number four to, to uh, capo is for a, a special effect or an effect. Uh, um, this, this little trick here that I'm going to show you in a minute um, was shown to me by a keyboard player, I'm ashamed to admit. Uh, I was working with uh, this singer-songwriter named Fernando Ortega, wonderful singer, great, great writer. And his producer keyboard player was a guy named John, was a guy named John Schreiner. And John's one of the most brilliant musicians I've ever met. And um, he, we were rehearsing and he said, hey, why don't you play, do an auto harp thing? And I went, what do you mean? And he goes, oh, you know, capo the guitar really high, play, use a thin pick, play right up against the bridge. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, and so I uh, did just that. And so, um, what I've done here is I've, I've got the capo at the 10th fret. And uh, so I'm way up there. I'm te Technically, I'm in 10th position. Um, really, really almost playing almost a full octave up. And now I just played a, a G chord. And you hear that? I'm using a thin pick. This is a Dunlop 60, uh, 0.60 millimeter. Okay. And I'm strumming right up against the bridge. If I play here, that's nice too. Kind of almost harp like. Right? And then here has that auto harp sound. Auto harp is that instrument that you would strum. It's pretty big, kind of shaped like a triangle at one end, and uh, it has those buttons you would push down for the chords, you know, G, E minor, G minor, A, C, all, all the triads would be in there, and some seventh chords, you know, D7, E7, A7. Um, and so it would sound kind of like this. You would you push down the button, and it would mute all the strings that weren't necessary, and it would sound like that. So there's, it looks like a G chord, okay? but it's actually an F chord. So it's a G shape, an F chord, okay? Then if I went to like the C, like a C2 shape, that's really B flat two chord. Then I could go to like an E minor seven shape or just a pure E minor, and that's actually D minor, the 10th fret. And then um, maybe a little D shape with a third in the bass, bring my thumb around. That's, that's really, really a C over E. Okay, um, so it'd be like, and and one of the things you would do is play it like an auto harp. You know, if you would strum, okay. Another thing, auto harps generally would only have triads. So try not to add. If you want it to sound like an auto harp, try not to add any seconds or any 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 um, any weird notes. Uh, but then again, if you want it to sound like, like an auto harp that no one has, then that's when you would add the second and stuff like that, and the seventh sister. <laughs> Just do any any old chord is going to create a neat sound. So that's a trick. All right, um, now I've got a kind of a half of a tip. And if you go back to the very first video, the intro video, um, I was talking about a session I did a few days ago, or yesterday, where I was basically um, trying to get six, seven, eight notes to ring out. And on a piano, it's really easy to put down the pedal and play a chord and then go backwards and it'll ring forever. Um, on a guitar, sometimes those notes, if they're not far apart, like a like an E chord, you've got a root, a fifth, a, a fourth, a third, a third, and a fourth, you got that spread. Um, if it's not like that, it can be difficult if you got something that's pretty tight. So, for example, this chord, if I were to play, say, an A, a C, a D, and an F, It's hard enough as it is, but I've got the capo on there to get that F. I don't see. Get this in here. Sorry. There you go. Okay. I just took this shape and just kind of moved it down. I could do 
I can even do like a whole tone thing. And I wouldn't be able to play that chord if I didn't have the capo there. So that would be, I guess, a four and a half tip or a fifth tip on how you can uh, utilize a capo. And uh, that would be basically to help you make a chord that's not possible otherwise. Okay? I hope this helps. God bless you. And I'll see you soon.